All right, today we're gonna to be talking about how to improve your communication and rank play and actually start communicating like a pro. Uh, so let's get right into it. So you're in that situation where you're starting to play game battles or scrimming with the team or playing some wagers or even rank play with your friends and you just wanna improve your communication and the communication of your teammates around you. So I have a few good tips to share from my experience uh, to improve that communication, but it really comes down to just effort. You know, if you're putting the effort in to actually be vocal in the comms, it's eventually going to get better. But here's some tips to actually improve the quality of what you're talking about uh, when you're in a game with your teammates. All right, rule number one, say what you're doing. If you can communicate effectively what you're doing yourself, whether it's taking a route, whether it's holding a lane, whether it's you know making them spawn in a specific area, you are the one that has the most information on what you're doing and being able to actually communicate that effectively to your teammates is gonna make their job so much easier because instead of having to look at the minimap, they can figure out what they're doing just by hearing you. When I was coaching Crim6 on the New York Subliners, he actually advocated for this so much so that he even told a story about his old complexity team and talking about how they would just communicate everything that they were doing in their lives. You know, I'm brushing my teeth, I'm washing my hands right now, I'm walking to the kitchen, you know, actually getting in the habit of doing uh, everything and then communicating everything that you're doing in your daily life. You know, obviously you don't have to go to that extent, but actually getting in that habit in game is such an important skill because a lot of time people are tunnel vision on making a play and, and doing something or getting a kill. But if you can communicate while you're doing that, that's just the extra icing on the cake. But even at the basic level, at least in holding setups, just say what you're watching. If you're not able to communicate while you're making a play or while you're making kills, actually just saying what you're watching, especially if you're holding a lane, that's just, you know, basis number one. Uh, that should be in everyone's comms, no matter who you're playing, what level you're at, just say what you're watching. Don't make your teammates actually have to watch the mini map uh, to know what you're doing. If you want to take this to the next level, you know, once you're starting to actually see your comms improving and get your game knowledge up, you can actually start directing your teammates on what to do or what to watch. Instead of saying what you're watching, direct your teammates and tell them what they need to watch. You know, this is a lot better as a teammate because instead of putting the emphasis on what you're doing, you're guiding them because now instead of thinking about what they have to do based on what you're watching, they just know that you're directing them to watch this one area. So by directing, you're obviously making it even easier for your teammates, you know, rather than them having to think about what they need to watch based on what we're watching and what communication you gave, you can now directly tell them and they can just listen to that communication. Snap number two, you know, we're talking about respawn here, but call out spawns. You know, specifically, if you're at the low level, just call out where you're spawning. If you're calling out where you're spawning to your teammates, that can at least give them some information on where their teammates are and where they can help them or what play they have to make uh, to adjust for that. So if you're a really high level player and your game knowledge has really improved, your comms are good, you can now start calling out where the enemy team is spawning. You know, especially at the high level, calling out where you spawn isn't as beneficial because a high level player will know where their teammates will be spawning based on the given position of their other teammates. But if you can continuously calm out where the enemy team is, that's, you know, perfect comms there. You, you want to get to that level where you can do that because that's just going to put the emphasis on the enemy and allow your team to not think as much and just focus on you know their gunfights and playing their kills. Step number three, you know, actually listening to your teammates. You know, I know this can get a little bit mixy in rank play, but if you're able to actually listen, not on just the general sense of like, oh, they're spawning here and 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 focusing on that, or oh, I'm watching this and, and focusing on something else or another lane, but if a player is actually calling one play just stick with it you know make sure that everyone is just on the same page you know a wrong play can be the right play if all four of you are in tune and intact and actually playing for it so i would rather a team you know go out and lose because they committed to a play and all stuck with it rather than everyone just doing their own thing and losing because of that and like i said it might not even be the right play but if if you have your team doing it especially in rank play uh, it'll probably work at the end of the day. But especially for the low level players, and obviously <laughs> the people have to have mics in order to do this, uh, but just listen to your team, make sure that you're just effectively responding to those callouts and, and adjusting to your game that way. Step number four, it kind of goes into what I was saying before with improved game knowledge, but actually give direction. If you can give direction, that's the golden opportunity for you to actually improve your comms because if you can take that leadership role and start giving direction to your teammates, that's gonna make their lives easier, but also really improve the quality of the comms in general because you're gonna be able to direct how you want the game to be played on for your team. So if you think you know what the right play is, 
you know, actually calm that out to give direction to teammates. You know, obviously this is a really hard thing for, for players and even sometimes pros to do. But if you can do that and you can have that leadership quality to do that, uh, it's really the most beneficial thing you can do uh, for a respawn player. And step number five, probably most importantly, just limit the death call outs. You know, a lot of the times all people will communicate is, you know, one shot top bed, one shot back P1, but one shot front P2. You know, they're really bad call outs. And I don't want to say bad because it still is an enemy call out. So it is beneficial and you can act off of it. But it's just you don't want to get in the cycle of doing that. So obviously just limiting those call outs. If you can get it under 50% of your total comms, uh, you know, that's a win in of itself. So really just limiting the amount of loose full comms or death call outs. You don't want to get in the cycle of doing that because again, it's just going to make your experience uh, miserable and probably your teammates experience miserable. And it really doesn't benefit anything other than just giving the area of the player. Uh, so you don't want to get in the cycle of that obviously. So that's going to do it for the five steps to improve the quality of your communication. You know, as I said before, it really just comes down to the effort that you're willing to put in. So if you're able to put in that effort, uh, you're going to see results probably quickly. Uh, but really, if you just want to start, just really just gradually start improving your comms with what I was saying, you know, at the lower level, just start with the basic steps that I was talking about before. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tip video and I'll see you guys in the next one.